After covering the IR sensors, next we are going to start with the HC Dish SR04 ultrasonic sensor installed on the front of the Galaxy RVR rover. I won't talk about its technical specifications and how it works because I have already used it in several videos. You can find links to the related videos in the description. Anyway, it's connected to the Arduino Pen 10. So let's first read this ultrasonic sensor and afterwards we will do some interesting projects. First, define a pin for the ultrasonic sensor. As I said, the ultrasonic sensor is connected to the Arduino pin 10. In the setup function, we simply activated the serial communication and we are using 9600 as a baud rate. In the loop function that runs repeatedly, we start off by adding a delay of 4 milliseconds, otherwise the reading may be zero. We set the ultrasonic pin to output to send a signal, then we clear the trigger pin. Then we trigger the ultrasonic sensor by sending a high pulse for 10 microseconds. Next we set the trigger pin back to low. Then we set it to input to read the signal. The pulse in returns the duration of the pulse on the pin. Then we calculate the distance in centimeter based on the speed of sound 340 meter per second or 0.034 centimeter per microsecond. And don't forget to divide it by two. Finally, we use these instructions to send the distance value to the serial monitor. Now, let's upload this program. Now, let's turn this into an obstacle avoidance robot using the ultrasonic sensor. Again, we are using the same library for the motors, the same pins definitions for the ultrasonic sensor and motor spins. Inside the setup function, we simply activated the soft PWM library. Rest of the program is pretty straightforward. First, we read the ultrasonic sensor. Read sensor data is a user-defined function and its return type is float. You can see it consists of the same set of instructions I explained in example number one. This time, it calculates the distance and then return the final calculated distance. Then we use some if conditions to control the Galaxy RVR rover based on the distance reading. The first condition checks if the distance is greater than 50 cm, then we call the move forward function. And if the distance is less than 15 and greater than 1, then move the rover backward for half a second. Next, we turn the rover by calling the bake lift function. Move forward, move backward, and bake lift, these are user defined functions used for controlling the motors. I have already explained all these functions in lesson number one. I've talked in much detail about how to control the speed and direction of motors. Let's upload this program. Right now, it can only sense objects that are in front of the ultrasonic sensor. It totally ignores objects on the left and right sides. So next, we are going to use the ultrasonic sensor and IR sensor to make the smartest obstacle avoidance system. So let's do it. This program is just a combination of two projects, the ultrasonic avoidance that you just saw and the IR avoidance system that I explained in lesson number two. You can clearly see the same set of instructions I use, so I think there is no need for me to explain anything. So let's go ahead and upload this program. Now, it can not only detect objects on the front side, but also on the right and left sides of the rover. Now, let's make the Galaxy RVR rover to follow an object. You can see this is the same exact program with some minor changes. This time, instead of avoiding any object, it follows that object. Let's upload this program. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.